Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back with another resin video. So today is a really fun project. I found these little dishes at the dollar store that say different things on them, like yummy or tasty or I don't know, enjoy, whatever. They say cute things on them and they're little dishes. And I thought, wouldn't these be adorable coasters? They're a little bigger than your traditional coaster, but I've got all these copper mugs with handles that like don't fit on regular coasters. And these have a lip and I can pour resin on them. They'll be amazing. So I bought them. They were like five bucks at the dollar store. I know, right? And I brought them home to pour resin on them. And now I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing. They turn out super cute. They were actually pretty easy. The hardest part is just making sure you pour clear resin in the middle after all your layers are done so you can still read those words because why have words on something if you can't read them? We are going to need our five colors. Rose gold, blush, white, clear with rose gold flakes, and copper. The rose gold is a glitter. I will leave all those links down below. You, of course, need your resin. You need your heat gun to pop the bubbles. You need a respirator, goggles, gloves, I'm trying to think of everything you need, silicone cups, stir sticks to actually mix your resin. You need a tray, like I use a baking pan and a silicone mat so that you can pick your pieces up and move them around without like ruining them. So I've done that before. You need something to put over them. I typically use a cardboard box or a Tupperware box to keep all the dust and grime out once they're done and they're drying. And I believe that's it. There will be a full comprehensive list down below in case I missed something. In case you want a link because links are a girl's best friend. And we're going to get started. I can't wait to show you guys how these turn out. I am even more excited to use them in my new house. Pretty sure they're going to be the answer to all my coaster prayers. Because apparently when you turn 30, you start worrying about things like coasters. Go figure. Let's get started. Okay, y'all, so we're going to jump right in to the very hardest part of this entire project, which is unwrapping these darn things. This is that little $7, I thought it was 5 it was $7 plate stack from the dollar store, and somebody or some machine wrapped this baby up tighter than a present on Christmas morning. <laughs> just getting that bow off is hard so now we're going to lay these out on our little silicone mat on our baking tray and we're going to get to pouring resin on them perfect make sure they're just free okay you don't want any dust from the store left in these when we start to pour resin perfect now that we're set we're going to put on our protective gear starting with the most difficult glove of all time and our respirator and of course goggles Perfect. Don't worry. I'll do the second glove off camera. Now let's get started with our resin. I'm going to do the bottom coaster completely first just to make sure I've got it down. So I'm going to start with my blush resin and I'm going to go ahead and pour it kind of around the word. I want you to be able to read the word. So now I'm going to go in the middle with the white and a little on top. And then I'm going to come back in and finish it off with my clear resin with those rose gold flakes. And hopefully you'll be able to read through this. Perfect. This little cup is very full and it does not want to pour properly. So if you need to use a paper towel, clean up any drips, it doesn't mind doesn't mind it doesn't matter <laughs> if you drip some in the resin but since the tops of these won't be resined we don't necessarily want any resin drips on the white portion of our coasters just clean that up while it's still wet and it'll be fine all right duck drop our cup a little bit always 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 keep paper towels when you're working on resin they come in so handy all right back to work Going to add some to the bottom here we're not trying to fill the entire little dish here because we do want to use them as coasters which means we need to leave room but we need a little room for resin now we're going to go ahead and add our glitter so this is the rose gold glitter 
We're going to add it again around the word so that's just a thin vein on either side. And then we'll add the copper on top of that. You can use your stir stick if you're not quite comfortable pouring it. That's typically what I do, but I wanted to try pouring it in this one. I think if I was doing it again, I would just use the stir stick and kind of string it along. That tends to give better results. All right, so now I've got my big cup of clear resin. I have a little left, and I'm just going to pour it right over that word, tasty. And if I was doing this project again, I would probably put something under the top of my tray. I do that later, but I would do it at the beginning because you can tell if you're watching the project, like the resin is falling to the top. Just level that out. Now use your heat gun. A, you're going to pop any bubbles. B, you're going to spread that resin out a little bit so that it blends. And that's it. This whole little coaster is done. You can read that tasty word. So that was our main goal. So that is pretty much how you make these bad boys. There's my little Wagner heat gun. I swear, I use that for everything. All right, so now I'm going to put on some music. I'm going to show you exactly how I make the other three coasters. It is the exact same process. Now I do each one a little differently so you can decide which one you like and watch that bottom right coaster as I'm doing the other four and you can see how it kind of blends and settles out over time. It's really kind of fun to watch. Enjoy y'all. See you in a minute.
All right, y'all. Were those cute or what? I absolutely love how they turn out. Of course, when you pour layers like this, they always, they cure a little different than you pour them. Like those colors just blend together and create like texture and swirls and all kinds of fun stuff. It's like magic. Like you can't control it. If you like to control things, which I usually do, like resin is not your thing because you cannot control it. You can guide it, but then y'all like it does what it wants. And honestly, you can't even be mad about it because it just turns out so pretty. Ooh, I like the glitter in this one. Look at that glitter. Look at, that. Look at it. You're like, I I'm watching the video. I'm looking at it. Thanks. I think these are going to be the perfect coasters. Now, technically, like I said, they're little dishes. I don't do a lot of cooking as much as like a cook would do. Like I, I cook, don't get me wrong, I, I eat. But I don't make things that would probably go in little dishes. Leave a comment down below on what you would use a dish this size for. Because I don't know, I, I would put ketchup in it. <laughs> coasters will be much more functional for me and I mean I'm telling you the condensation won't get out the edges it'll hold my big copper mugs it has an adorable little stand for my coffee table like you guys I'm not even trying to sell you on this because they're mine but I'm just really excited about it so if you liked this project if you know what you would use dishes for if you're a ketchup girl like me and just want coasters Leave me a comment down below and let me know because I want to know what you would do with these. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.